Okay, it's tropicalrareseeds.com in Africa. I'm just going to show you the process here with regard to um, how we clean the seeds for you and how we actually remove the moisture. And you can see there's Bella, um, one of our cats, and she's playing with the, the pod there. So what it is with regard to these seeds here, you can see these are the um, <coughs> plump, fresh seeds. Some of the pods themselves, they'll have the small seeds in it. We only actually choose the large seeds um, which are viable. The next stage, obviously the wife, she's placed those in the jar. What I will actually do is to um, disinfect the seeds. I use 20% hydrogen peroxide and I will actually give those a quick wash and what that will do is it's going to remove any fungal spores any bacterial spores <clears throat> which might be on the seeds themselves and there's no other seed supplier which actually does that um, what that means to yourself is obviously you're going to be getting seed which is a uh, disinfected seed free of any form of contaminants once that is done i'm going to dry the seeds off and what we do then is we've got here, and you'll be getting some of this with every seed packet, which is the silica gel um, life extender. <clears throat> and it's a desiccant. And you can see here in the one that we have to show that it's actually dry. Um, it's got the little blue pellets there of the chromium dioxide. And if there's moisture in there, that will turn pink. So we know that this silica gel that we have is actually going to be fresh it's going to work so what we will do is obviously once the seeds have been disinfected with the 20 volume hydrogen peroxide we'll dry them off and then we're going to reduce the con the, the moisture content of the seeds itself for about a week seven days time with um, some of the silica gel we'll try and get the moisture content right we do obviously do some germination tests on the seed itself to ensure that it is actually viable seed um, the seeds from the Zolonix tree itself, the flamboyant tree, they're very large seeds, um, but the seed coat on them is actually actually quite tough. You can still hear my wife there opening the pods. <clears throat> so what you're going to have to do with these seeds, you're going to get full germination instructions um, with all the seeds that are sent out. So if you're getting Meramea seeds, um, Aristolochia seeds, or some form of legumous seeds, <clears throat> you'll be told what to do with it. With these ones, you will scarify the seed, and what that basically means is you can use a bit of sandpaper or nail file and you'll um, obviously abrade the outer coat of the seed you'll soak it in a cup of water um, overnight and until the seed is actually swollen if the seed is not swollen you can go so far with some of the acacia species some of the legumes species to take some uh, water not boiling temperature water but water which is just actually off boil place those seeds in a cup and um, Obviously, just pour the water over it and leave that overnight. Not, you know, just pour the water and let it cool down. What that actually does is the boiling water on a microscopic level, it uh, slightly cracks and it embraids the, the um, outer coat of the seed, allowing, allowing the water to actually go inside the seed embryo itself. You might think it's unusual um, if you're not used to gardening to actually put boiling seed, uh, boiling water over seed, but it does not affect the seed at all. What I'm going to be doing in one of my videos um, as we go along is I'm actually going to show how to um, germinate some of this seed. I might actually do it after this video here.